Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our seventh episode of the For the Badge podcast. Uh, welcome if you are a new viewer, and hello again if you are a returning viewer. Uh, last week's episode was on the international break. There was no club games for about two weeks, but this weekend, we are back. Specifically, the Premier League is back. Uh, and so coming week is Champions League. But So yeah, so last week was a very international focus. This week's going to be uh, very club-focused. Uh, pretty much Premier League. Yeah, everything's about Premier League today. So, firstly, I want to start off with what some consider to be their goats. Uh, I don't, but some considering him to be their goat and his age catching up to him. Hasn't been the same for a long time now, let's be honest here. Cristiano Ronaldo. Since he's, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mention the name. <laughs> you didn't say his name. Yeah. Uh, it was implied. Yes. It's implied. Uh, William. Oh, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, uh, oh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, yeah, what's happening? He's been sitting on the bench with Eric Ten Hag recently at Manchester United. What's happening? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's it's, it's age. Um, he doesn't match the style that that United need right now. Um, and like, uh, didn't he not? Didn't Ten Hag say he didn't bring him out in the in the derby because it'd be like disrespectful? So yeah. <laughs> Which actually, honestly, if I kind of, I, I kind of respect that because, like, you don't want to be yeah, part fair. of a sixty loss. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. I mean, like, it's just he's just getting older, and all those Ronaldo fanboys are saying, "Oh, United, look how bad they're doing without him." He's not going to change. I'm sorry. I mean, when he's come in, it's like he hasn't been gotten, gotten a single chance. No, he's been he's been <laughs> crap this season. Even whenever when he, he, he gets brought in, it's like no one cares. But when he's out, everyone cares. So it just makes it look really bad. But when he gets brought exactly. in, like. It doesn't change the yeah. game as he Even for would. Portugal, he hasn't been great. I watched the yeah. Portugal game. He wasn't good. Okay, yeah, didn't he throw off the captain's armband? Did he? I didn't even I catch think, that. I, I, th- I thought I saw a picture or something, which he's, he's done before, by the way. But he, he did it again. Yeah. I mean, is so, a Ronaldo tantrum something new? No. 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 Not. Not yeah. no but, it's, but it's acceptable. At the, or it was acceptable because of how good he was. Right. But Let's be honest here. He's, he's getting to the end of it. And uh, he's not the GOAT. He's not. No. Okay, I just I just want to preface that. I don't think we had decided who we thought we was, uh, who was the goat, but it's not Ronaldo. Just like no, sure. no, no. It's 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 obviously Diego Costa. Let's be honest here. Oh, obviously. Oh, Diego Costa. Diego yeah. Costa, current Wolves player, former Chelsea player. But <laughs> I know I saw like memes earlier of like Casemiro and Ronaldo sitting on the bench, and yeah. people were saying United bought paid seventy million for a, a friend. For Ronaldo, <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Which, yeah. I mean, it's accurate. Like they're not doing anything. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. Firstly, I don't know why you pay seventy mil for Casemiro anymore. A year or two ago, yeah. sure, but he's older now. You know, he's he's not the same. He's a fantastic player if he, if they want to play him. But but yeah, so Ronaldo hasn't been the same. Um, but on topic of United, I should say this is mentioned the the most recent Manchester Derby this weekend, six three to City. Holland with another hat trick, uh, which is, by the way, the first player to have three hat tricks in his first three home games, I think, or something like that. Yeah, or three consecutive right, three home, home games. games. Three consecutive yeah. home games, yeah. Killing it. I, said, I mean, do we, did anyone think anything else was going to happen? Uh, no. Liverpool fans did. They thought news was going to go. Darwin Nunez, you know, it's still, it's still possible. <laughs> it's still possible. He's no Kai Havertz. Oh, uh, he'll, he'll get there. <laughs> No, but it, you can't face a team with Kevin De Bruyne, Phil Foden, and 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 Holland together and expect the result. I'm sorry. I, yeah. I, it's wild. And yeah, going on to the question: Is Holland gonna? Well, we'll say we'll mention both records. Is Holland gonna beat Messi's okay. record of 91 goals in a calendar year, and and or 73 in a season? Is 73 in all com- I'm assuming 73 is in all competitions. All comps, yeah, right? it's not just La Liga. Yeah. Um, or whatever league. So. Yeah. At the rate, I mean, at the rate, technically, if you look at it statistically, at the rate he's going, yes, he's, he'll easily break it. But my when Holland came to the Prem, I thought it was going to take him a little bit to, like, get going, boy, but I was very wrong. Um, it took him all but three days or so. Yeah. But, uh... I think it's doable. I mean, at the rate he's going, and unless he gets injured, but she could, but I doubt it. Um, I'm mm-hmm. sure the fi- I'm, I'm sure the physios at City are taking very good care of him. So, 
I mean, with uh, how aggressive he is, I can imagine it though. Yeah, at some point, it, like a little bit happens. wear and tear happens like around December. I, well, I would say December, but it doesn't. World Cup happens. Right then, so. Is Nor is Norway in the World Cup? They're not in the World no. Cup, right? No. Oh, so he has a whole break. He has a whole month to just get better and keep his fitness up. And yeah. come back so. to a league with where half the players just came back from the World Cup. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be scary times. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be. It's I mean, not gonna be fun. For, for the record, I'm not gonna say yes or no. I feel I think it's I think it's unfair because we haven't we've seen him play enough to, for someone to say yes. We also haven't seen him play a lot. Like I don't know, but out of anyone, out of any player on the planet right now, he's the only one who has a chance of doing it. Yeah, uh, the, of being rest's record, except for Darwin Nunez, who very easily. No, I'm just kidding. Darwin Nunez is gonna be crap, but. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to. I think at least, at least the 73 in the season, I could see. With the amount of competitions that City play in and the, the people supplying yeah. his the, the you know his assists and stuff like that, I think it's very very possible. But a lot of people call him a tap-in merchant. I've noticed he's, on Twitter. I know, but that's a striker's job is to score, so who yeah, cares how it I don't really understand the criticism there. That's what he does. I know. Like, what's the point? You're getting yeah. paid to like he, score goals. You're scoring goals. You're in the right place at the right time. That's exactly yeah. what you need to be doing. If Liverpool had Holland, they were scoring three hat tricks and three home games. They're not going to be tapping merchant. They're going to be like, Jesus Christ, he's insane. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. I think, oh, question then. Is this City's year for the Champions League? Finally. Uh, uh, this would have no. to be their best chance. It's their best chance. I still don't think they'll do it because of Pep. Pep, just no. You, you, best chance so far, or like best chance for the future too? You think? Best chance so far. I mean, they'll have Holland for for a long time. So best. That's, that's so what I was gonna say. Like they'll have Holland weird. for a long time, but you got to remember, De Bruyne is only getting older. But he's not. He's, yeah, but he's not dipping in quality. He's only. True. In my opinion, he's only getting better too. He's good. Yeah. Should he should have won Player of the Month this this month? But right, the Marks, got Rashford. it. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow. <laughs> I'm sorry. He should not. He did not deserve it. <laughs> he did not deserve it. <laughs> he does not. That's like you got to. Brian deserved it more at least. Easily. I mean, Holland, Easily. Holland deserved it. Can Holland win? Can you win it two months in a row? Like, why was he? He wasn't he, nominated. He was, you can, but why? he was nominated. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's got to be some it's, technicality. It's because I feel like he scored a lot of goals in the Champions League, but like obviously over to the Prem. So like he, I think yeah, like, I think like, I think in the two. the month of September he didn't he only had like I think like three goals or something like that. I mean, still very mm-hmm. good, but don't get me wrong. But like compared to like uh, August, it's not the same. Right. But Kate, like, uh, Kevin De Bruyne should have easily won that. Uh, I was gonna say 100%. to Kevin De Bruyne, he someone was saying he's been the best player in the Premier League for the past what, like three seasons now, maybe. I know that one season Van Dyke people said he was better when Liverpool won it. I don't know when they won. I was like three years ago. So he's been the best mm-hmm. player in the Premier League for three seasons. He hasn't won Player of the Month, but every, every he's literally one of the best foreign players every month. It's just like the bar he sets himself is so good that when we see an incredible pass or him running the show, it's we're normal. just like it's Kevin. It's what he does, and yet we don't give yeah, him player. Kevin. We don't praise him for it. Like, come on, man. No, no Player of the Month for he's going to go down as one of the greatest Premier League players ever. Yeah, and yet if he does. He's already won like two player of the seasons, at least one. I think he won one player of the season, if not two. Everyone is, I don't play the month isn't as big of a deal, and he probably doesn't care too much. But I care. I care for you, Kevin. Yeah, I care. <laughs> I care for Aww. you, Kevin. Oh, little Aww. bromance going gender. right there. Yeah, yeah. Tottenham fan here. <laughs> That's what I mind. That's what I mind everyone. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, that's I cute. Do. He's not no, my gender, he... but you know it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my ginger, but Ed okay. Sheeran's my ginger. Ed Sheeran. <laughs> um, Can Ed Sheeran do it on any night at Stoke? I don't think so. <laughs> I, okay. I think he's performed at Stoke. So I was gonna I say. Know. He, he <laughs> I don't, don't, I don't know. know. Night at Stoke. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Ginger Collins is my ginger. Ginger what Pele is West Ham fans call him. An inter- <laughs> ginger Pele. <laughs> That's what we Jesus call Christ, him. What West Ham got too much time on their on their hands to kill these nicknames. <laughs> the Moisaya. Hey. Ginger Pele. Hey, you gotta you oh, gotta give sucks. a round of applause to our um, our fans because we think of some sick names. So, see, we just have Hazard. He's not the Belgian someone. He's just Hazard. You guys have to rely on someone else to give people clout. 
What? Hazard? Like, like Hazard? okay, I'm saying like just... our players make a name for themselves. We don't need to be someone else's. The ginger Pele. Um, okay. I see. I How's see. that replacement yeah. of Hazard going for you, bud? Uh, about a standard. <laughs> Mm. Is he, he that that that's that's, yeah, that's his that only thing. Is like your replacement. Thing. Was Even though they've underperformed heavily the past two seasons, oh. he's still going to stay challenged. Wait, wait. Andres said our placement was Havertz. What has Havertz done for Chelsea? I oh want you to God. answer for me. Andres, answer for me. <laughs> I answer wonder me. what Please. the answer is going to be. Answer it then. Answer it. What is what has Havertz done for Chelsea? Miss goals. A lot. Of what them. about that? One, what, what about that one particular goal he scored? I don't know, Elijah. You tell me, man. You know what? I think Andres forgot the name of it. He hasn't been there in a while. The Champions League. I haven't been there at all. It's a correction. Yeah, I got to risk my team. I got to risk myself. Been there at all. Thank you. We've been in the group, though. Oh, anyways. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, an interesting question that I didn't put on the, the notes, but... Okay, so Rashford winning the Premier League part of the month, so Kevin right now. Does FIFA, the game, have an effect on who's winning Player of the Month? Yes, because absolutely. Because, okay, Kevin De Bruyne, I don't know what rating he is this year, 91, whatever. He, he wins Player of the Month. Uh, and, and game came out three, what, four days ago, whatever. Last Thursday. Three days ago, whatever. 29. If he, wins the, if he wins Player of the Month, they have to make a 93, 94 rated SBC. Beginning of the year, they don't want to do that, of course. They don't want to do that, of course. So, does that Conspiracy impact your choice? Theory. Maybe Holland. I'm not saying Holland was nominated because of that, but you know, would Holland, if he was in the nominations, would he also have lost out to Rashford because the Holland card would be crazy right now? Like, is it is it taking a factor on who wins these awards? I it's a good it's a good theory, don't get me wrong, Elijah. Very good theory. Uh, thank you, probably, but I don't, I don't think FIFA the game has anything to do with. The problem. Uh, I mean, they do have a vote. The award. people who vote for FIFA have a have like a fifteen percent heavy like a weight to their vote. So it technically does. If, if we're being technical I mean, about it, you look at like like I don't know how the, the how different it is, but Ligue 1, the French league last year, everyone could vote on that. FIFA players can vote on that, and every year, every month, of course, was Mbappe, right? But but some other player. Uh, I don't know who, but it's like, Hi, uh, would, like they would. <laughs> anyways, they would. I was kidding. Uh, they, they would come in <laughs> that month and do, and do crazy, but better, better than Mbappe, and would not win it because a lot of people voted for for Mbappe because he's OP FIFA and they want a card for him. Like who's not who's to say that same thing isn't happening in in the Premier League? I mean, good theory. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer. Um, there you go. On it, I was just gonna say it was a PR thing to make because Rashford is doing good. Rashford's got that charity, you know. Might as well. Yeah, but I mean, like, there. he is, but he's not making the headlines he once what he was like a year or two ago. Like a year or two ago, I understand. Like, but he's been there, done that. Yeah, it's not like. You know, I mean, you could also look at it as like United, like coming back. If that makes sense, like United's like back where they need to be, and therefore they should a player should win it from United. You can look at that too. Like the Premier League, like whoever's involved, like in charge of it was like, all right, put, put, give them, give it to Rashford. So like they, they can look good and like come back. Cause right now they look like shit. So, mm. but it could be that. I mean, the FIFA thing sounds pretty good. Well, I, I like that theory. So it's a possible possibility. I think um, there's definitely, first of all, FIFA don't release the, uh, voting um, like results. So it's not like we know how close it was or how much votes someone got. So that's, you know, I kind of wish they did that. And I, I, I'm i not going to say FIFA decides it because I do think, I remember just reading somewhere that the fans, you know, it's like 10, 15%, and then the rest is a panel from like the media. And let's just be honest, the media can also be idiots and 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 have horrible uh, voting um uh, like ideas, like they, they vote for players that, or they're biased. I mean, they don't have to be unbiased for this vote. They could, if it's a bunch of United analysts that are like freaking Gary Neville's voting on this, he's going to vote Rashford. So I don't think it's a great vote. I don't think it's particularly 
Um, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, fair, but I don't think FIFA fully decided it. I'm not going to say they fully decided it. Right. I'm, I mean, like, I wouldn't say that either, but it's like, even a little influence, I feel like, is negative. I, you know, I, yeah. I don't think FIFA players should be able to vote for player of the month because mo- I don't want to say most, but half of them of, don't even know. Yeah, yeah. like a lot, of, a lot of players don't even watch Premier League consistently or exactly. any, any league, yeah. matter, especially like Liga One or like La Liga. Like, no one, yeah. not many FIFA players really pay attention to them enough no. to have a say. No. It's just going to be up to you, but even like, like 15%. That could that could go a long way to, to deciding player of the month, you know. Could. And players don't deserve yeah, don't yeah. get it. Like Kevin O'Brien has never won player of the month, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has yeah. Never. So this month should have been the month, but yeah, about last now. Um, I mean, you also can look at the manager, like uh, manager of the season or whatever. You know, like uh-huh. manager, like those are seem so rigged sometimes because like you'll see like Pep or like Klopp winning it like every year, like switching off, but it's like. They should be doing as good as they are, but like you should like recognize like other managers who have like taken teams from nothing and actually had a really good season. So it's like it's a bit biased, but I feel like if 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 what you guys are saying, I didn't know that like the votes are like worth more. I thought they all were the same, but like if like um, commentators and like announcers and reporters have more vote, like obviously it's gonna they're gonna lean towards like the favorites. So Mm. yeah. But yeah, I feel like it's rigged to an extent to fit the narrative of what the Prem, Premier League and uh, FA wants. I think for the the whole manager of the year thing or season or whatever, I think it needs to be altered a bit too, because like you said, it should be the whoever deserves it most. But Pep, Klopp, win it every year pretty much, you know. But they're expected to be first or second, so it's not like. I'm sure you can bring someone else in and they would do the same job, you know. Not saying Klopp and Pep aren't like fantastic managers, like they're two of the top managers I, in the world. But like, if you're like, like look at like Grand Potter, if you're bringing like a relegation team to like I don't know, seven, let's just say, like that's, I feel like that that means a lot more. David Moyes, than a, 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 did with West Ham. I take back everything I just said. <laughs> West- no, but it's genuinely true. Okay, so the year we yeah, made Europa like, League, David Moyes should have won Premier League Manager of the Year because of what he did. He took a relegation team, West Ham, to a Europa League spot. Based on what you're just saying, like I, when that happened, he should have won. Well, but I mean, but for, for Premier League player manager, you can't take into account other other stuff. You, you, you can't if you're winning Premier League Manager of the Year, you can't take into account Europa League. No, 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 like the year we qualified for Europa League. Like the, oh, that oh, year you, oh, you said one. I think, I think you said one. So qualified, yes, I understand. Yeah, yeah like that's, that was the year that I was very annoyed that Pep won over uh, Moist. Yeah, like you're that's when I, I, I mean, to be fair, no, okay. Pep Guardiola has done things that are kind of not normal. No, yeah, but look uh, at the budget he has. Just... He has so much, like, yeah, you but, expect but... to do well, as well as he does. No, 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 no. No, you don't expect. You expect him to win. You don't expect him to win as well as he has been winning. I'm just here to defend Pep, and I do think at least he's won it three times. I just looked it up. He's won it three times. He won it once when he got the 100 points, the first time he ever got 100 points, so I think that's pretty deserved. The second time was the year after. I don't know as much about that year, so I don't remember too much. And the third time was two years after that, um, which I'm, is two years ago. Like, if you're – I understand, you know, like you said, Pep, when Pep first started and first came – came in and did all this all, all this with City and, and took him to the top. Like it's understandable why he would win. Because you know like he did massive things. But like now, like he's a great manager, but everything revolutionary is not revolutionary anymore. It's just like, oh that's Pep. Like that's City. You know, I don't and like there's other people who aren't getting recognized because of the continuous recognition he's getting. Right? Like like Grand Potter, like David Moyes, like things like that, you know. Because they're not doing these, like, even like like Sean Dyke at one point with Burnley, like I don't know if you if there was ever a season where he would win over someone else, but like they do bids with these teams, they don't get recognized because Pep's just gonna get it because they won, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just stupid. I do think um, Jurgen Klopp won it last year. Yeah, um, which is the if I remember correctly, only the fourth, fifth time that managers won it. That hasn't won the league, um, so it's pretty obviously the league winners usually win the manager of the season. Right. Um, it's just kind of how it is. Right. But 
last season was the fifth time that it wasn't that and that Klopp won it, which I, I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't even remember thinking Liverpool were all that special last season. I think well, they were good. A, but... a lot of times people are voted for things because they're tired of seeing someone else win it, like Pep. Like if Pep's winning every year, it's like okay, like we know who's gonna be it, you know. But Klopp, like and, I mean, I felt like Liverpool like last season wasn't great. Well, that's what I mean. Like they're trying to find anyone else, pretty much, but that anyone else should be relegation the mid table of code. You should tell you know. it to Alex Ferguson. He won it eleven times. Eleven seasons he's won it. It's actually. It's I mean, like again, so also crazy. like not saying a lot of people don't deserve it. Or deserve how many times they, they don't deserve how many times they won it, but because they also deserve it, a lot of players don't get a lot of a lot of managers who also deserve it aren't gonna get it, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it's like maybe like or maybe this make a whole new award like manager of the year or a surprise manager of the year or something like that, you know. That's so disrespectful. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I would manager though. Shoot, if if I took a team from nineteenth to eighth i don't know like that should mean something it's like you know i don't know surprise might be the wrong term for it but unexpected underrated bad. Manager underrated game. maybe unrecognized I don't, I don't know but this but, voting system is messed up it needs to be changed yeah but then also if, you, if you're gonna put it towards like you can't i don't know how much you can change it because you can't really put it to only like a lot of people say like let it be a full democracy and give it to only the fans but a lot of teams have more fans than the others, right? It's like Chelsea compared to West Ham, not, not Chelsea has way more supporters. So regardless of how they do, a lot of people are just going to vote for for you know Grand Potter over David Moyes just because that's who I support. You know? Yeah, but you, it balances out over time because you see you get like mm-hmm. every all, you get all the players from all, not all the players, all the fans from all the clubs who like actually watch football and are like, okay, fair enough, he deserves it. So like you get those fans voting because they actually know what's up. Especially yeah, if you get like the mid table, you get the mid table bottom relegation. Like those fans are like are like, oh yeah, our team's not great, so we're not going to vote for yeah. voting. But for you have like millions of fans from United that will vote only for United, that's what I mean. United players every year. That's what I mean, yeah. Like, 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 you, like small teams are going to be more humble with it. Like like, like City. City has so many supporters and just bandwagon or supporters yeah. and shit like that that they're just, they're not going to change their minds. They're not going to be like, okay, we won it or we got second place, but David Moyes are really good with West Ham. But I'm still going to vote for City. They, they, the fans are going to vote for their own team mo- like 80% of the time. Yeah. It's just so there's it no is. way of stopping that. There's no way of stopping right. that. You, just, you need a um, panel with more knowledge is all I'm saying. You yeah. just, you, that's what you need. Or make it only voted by the managers. Bring the 20 managers in. They cast their votes and whoever gets it, gets they're it because they, yeah. Yeah. they know who – they know what man- managing a team is like. They know how hard it is. Like I don't know. I think a lot of managers are going to go in and be like, okay, like – Look at Pep, like he's really good, of course, but he has this kind of team. Whereas Grand Potter had this team at Brighton, and he did really good. I can give it to Grand Potter instead. <laughs> guys, guys, like, guys. Yeah. What? You know what <laughs> the award for manager season is voted by the full membership of managers across all four English leagues. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should have looked that up earlier. We- <laughs> <laughs> That's embarrassing. Well, who knows that? So like, who knows that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, who well, whose votes is it? Player of the season is voted for by the players. I want to say maybe yes, because they have a whole like no. Nah, because I remember voting for manager of the year. What? No, nah, I I refuse to accept. Your votes that. might not. Your votes could just be a different poll. Like I oh, could post God. a poll on Twitter and be like, "Hey, vote for manager of the year." It doesn't mean shit. Could have been the same right. thing. I've, we've been wow. bamboozled. Wow, this whole I mean, we think we got the same now, ten minutes here. I say the managers <laughs> are biased. Maybe some managers are fans, huh? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but not like we are. They also have loyalty to themselves, and they're like, yeah, that's true. Uh, oh, no. We make ourselves look like fools on this. <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, I, 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 would, can, I would say I clip it, I but I don't want to clip it. But I think it would do good <laughs> if we clipped it. <laughs> I'm just saying, Andres is over ah! one on clips. I'm just saying. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. I said clip it, not TikTok it. I just said clip this segment. <laughs> That's all I said. Don't um, do me dirty. 
Oh, that's embarrassing. Who picked uh, this topic idea anyway? Okay, let's just. Oh no, <laughs> it, it doesn't happen over time. Elijah, Elijah did. No, 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 it's happening. <laughs> just okay. blame Elijah. <laughs> just blame Elijah. Sorry, I mean, it's alright, Elijah. It's okay. But we move. I, Anyways, I, it's not like the focus. majority of people know that, you know. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's, we're we're all we should know matter. that because it doesn't matter. We, we, Let's just move on. Let's just move on. We should Let's just keep we, going. I just say this one thing. We should know that because we're doing a podcast and we should do some research. We just did poor research today, but anyways, speaking no, but that, of managers, that was on topic that um, was planned. That we just brought it up. Know about that. Yeah, know about speaking that. of man. Anyways, speaking of managers, wolves have um have uh, apparently decided the upper um management has decided to find Bruno. Lar, Lar, how do you say that? <laughs> I don't want to say that. How do you say Laj. that? Laj. Laj? Oh, that's tough. Yeah. Um, due to uh, due to a uh, recent <laughs> defeat by West Ham United, uh, two 0 uh, and uh, only having one win in fifteen games in the Premier League, and only being able to score uh, three goals this entire Bring back Nuno. Bring back, bring back Nuno. Where's hey. he at? Right? Isn't he like? He's just like some Arabian like some or something. Eastern <laughs> Europe. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck it is, but yeah, yeah. How do you spell his last name? Because that is his last name, Bruno. Oh, I can't. Spell Nuno. Espirito Santo. Nuno. Nuno. I was like, oh, why Bruno. is his name not Nuno? Holy smokes! Oh, oh I got God. it. I got it. He's at a. Oh, he's not at a team right now. What? Hey, oh, I thought he was. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, he is Saudia Professional League Club. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> Al Etihad. Al Etihad. Oh, he's at Al Etihad. Like, that's a little hard to pronounce. It's, it's not. not. <laughs> Holy okay. God, this is on some of us. Yeah, he can't pronounce anything. Right? <laughs> Bruno Large. I'm just Large. not going to try. Bruno <laughs> Large. <laughs> Dude, I was just not. I didn't even say anything. I just said, I just said I'm not going to try. I, I am not getting made fun of for mispronouncing something. So I was like, I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> <laughs> not even gonna uh, try it. Anyways, yeah. yeah, like he but he was fired. He was fired. Uh, oh, he was deservedly yeah. so. Like one win in the last 15 Premier League games. I, I understand people go up through bad form, but I was like, oh, really, that's like half a season almost. Yeah. yeah. I mean like the defense was really good. Uh-huh. But that meant that their offense was really bad. And not because they have bad players, like they just got some good players. But mm-hmm. uh, just that, I think he sacrificed the attack for the defense, and you not that not, I think everybody agrees defense is very important. But you also have to score defense to win games, and if you don't score, then you're never going to win a game. To the point that it's not does not go to extra time in the Premier League. So uh, yeah, he 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 was not fixing it, and then, like you said, 15 games and he hadn't gone to win, and he hadn't changed a single thing. Mm-hmm. And maybe he couldn't. I don't know. You know, I don't know what behind the scenes, but just as someone who's looking from the outside, nothing changed. I think it's pretty deserved. I, 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 you know, he seemed like a cool guy. I remember it was a Tottenham game. No, no, no. like, like he, he seemed like a genuine manager, like someone yeah. that like was uh, was passionate about his work. Um, you know, and so unfortunate, but hey, it's 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 part of the job. Yeah, it's tough. I'm glad. Uh, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Okay, I'm, glad <laughs> um, we, I'm glad we faced Wolves before he uh, left because uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, easy dub, easy dub. <laughs> oh, well, okay. One thing about okay, managers again. Last thing, I think it might be the last topic too. But another result for this weekend was Brighton Liverpool, and mm-hmm. three 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 draw with Trossard as a hat trick. And I don't know if you guys heard about <laughs> you heard your did you guys hear Jurgen Klopp's excuse afterwards? Um, no, let's, take guess. let's take a guess. Let's take guesses. Go ahead, we're going to do guesses, guesses, guesses. Um, the 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 pitch was uh too short. Uh, no. Uh, Trossard uh played well. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What? Um, That's not an excuse. <laughs> yeah, he just played well. They didn't they had no an- <laughs> acknowledging a good performance. <laughs> they they had no uh, idea what they're gonna do. Um, pitch is wet. Take, take your guess. Too dry. <gasps> too dry. Like too dry. <laughs> too dry. Uh, like pitch. No, he'd never been the supporters. He'd never been the supporters. So, I don't know. The referees are bad. Um, no. The um, net wasn't connected properly. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't trim his beard short enough, so it was bothering him all game. I don't know. Uh, he wore the wrong track suit. <laughs> Ooh. His That's baseball going. cap was just like – it was too tight. Just like squished. Yeah, 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 yeah. He tripped on um, his way outside the tunnel. 
Ooh, that's <laughs> bad luck. That's bad luck. Yeah. That is bad luck. Uh, so his Two excuse, that, one out. of his excuses or an excuse I saw was that they didn't know how to prepare against Brighton. They didn't know how Brighton was going to line up and play because uh, of Graham I'm... Potter leaving, which is like kind of understandable. But at the same time, you've been studying these players for years. You should know kind of what roles they're going to play, and you're a good enough manager that you should be able to adapt to it. You should wait, be able to wait. recognize what they're doing in the first ten minutes and be like, okay, let's move this around. I know what they're doing. I, wait, wait, I. I... Did he say that's why they lost? Or he said that made it difficult to win the game. Well, they didn't lose. And I don't know to Sorry. what question he was responding to, but it was probably something along the lines of what happened out there? Why didn't you get a result? I I don't I actually don't think that's the worst I've ever heard. Like it's not. I, no, I, need another, still I, mean, bad. I mean like if he said like yeah, it made the game difficult because we didn't know what to expect, I I, mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean like I, I kind of get that. I, I don't see a problem. But it also shouldn't have been fully. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't know the full quote. But I, if he fully blamed that, then then maybe we have problems. But otherwise, I, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. I just want to say one thing: yeah. Premier League Manager of the Year, and he didn't know what he was doing. I'm sorry, but as a Premier League Manager of the Year last year, you didn't know how to line up and defense and figure out what tactics you're going to use. Outrageous. You, you, at this level, like you can say that, like when you're like on a youth team or like you know like a third division, fourth division team where you don't have any game footage of the other team because there's no like way to look because there's no cameras. I get that, but you know how they're gonna line up. You have an idea. They're not gonna change it up entirely in the span of a a week, couple weeks. I mean, like, that's but, stupid. okay. What's something that none of us might not know? Has the Zerbi, the new the new manager, the Zerbi, played with Brighton yet? Did he come in during the match? Right, that was. But even then, I don't know how this compares to Hype was playing at his previous team, which I think was Zenit or, or, Zenit or a Russian team or Ukrainian team. Shaq or something. Donetsk. Shakhtar Donetsk. Okay. Like, I'm sure he played decent somewhere over there. Like, he knows what to stick to. And he's like a switch around his whole place, so you kind of know. And, okay, I'm, I'm, let me read this whole quote from Jurgen Klopp as I found it. it Says, Brighton set up in a really brave way. 3-4-3, three, three, the four midfielders in the box, two tens, two sixes. We couldn't really prepare for it because no idea what they would do. Uh, but that's very often in football the case. You have solutions for situations, but before we had the solution, we were already one nil down, and that changed the momentum extremely. They felt like they were flying. We felt, okay, that's this rubbish start again. That's what you could see. Uh, but again, we fought back in a game that's a positive. It doesn't feel in the moment positive, but if it is, we have to accept the point. Which is, okay, it's fine, right? And I understand, you're already one nil down, so you have to do it a little bit differently. But, like... I don't know. To me, it's so shitty excuse. Because it's, like you're the, you, you're a top, you're one of the biggest clubs in the world. You're the one of the most resources out of many clubs in the world. Analytics, all the stuff, and yes, you might not be able to know how to set it up, but you can, like I said, go into it. You see what they're doing with the first fifteen, whenever, and 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 well, adapt. I mean, like, but what he said right there was true. He's not saying the entire game they didn't know what to do. It was that first, like they they can see the two in the first twenty minutes. Of course, that's gonna be. He couldn't know. He was having trouble handling mm. in the first 20 minutes. They concede, and now they have to fight back. And honestly, they fought back pretty well. I mean, they, to come back from 2-0 down and draw 3-3, I think you take that if you knew you were going to be 2 down. I think it's fair. He's not saying the entire game you didn't know what to do. He's just saying that first 15, 20 minutes where they were down 2-0, that's where they were still trying to figure things out. And and obviously they did. I mean, they, they, they came back. So I, I don't know. I'm kind of with him on this one. I, I'm sorry, but I, I kind of – I'm back in clock on this one. I don't know. I think it's like I, you know, know, it's 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 little, I know, but you can't say you're at you're caught off guard because of the way they were playing. It's like showing up to an office job and be like, I was caught off guard and couldn't do my work today because someone misplaced my papers. It's like what? It's like no. You showed up like you know how like like you can't say that you couldn't didn't know what to do because they showed up in a different formation. That's just stupid. Your job is to line up I mean, the way there's, there's so much more in depth i mean different formation different, different tactics different ways to approach it it's not just like oh we always set up this way for every team they obviously played i mean liverpool do you can't tell me they don't you every team that faces them knows what to do is a counterattack every single time there's nothing no nothing special what they change there's nothing but like you can't use that as an excuse to being like oh they lined up differently today it's like no you should have known that you should have known that that they're going to line up different. Obviously, they're different managers, so you line up differently. Obviously, they're different. You, you didn't know what. 
on what you know they're going to line up, just look at the the manager from where he came from last. He's going to have a similar. It's, idea. it's easy. It's just a lineup. There's individual tactics to each player. There's so much more in depth for each player and how. Yeah, they but react. that's your that's job, like, though. I that's not my job. That's his know, job. And, that's and what he right gets paid for. Minutes. He got it right after 20 minutes. He came back from 2 0 down 3 3 to draw 3 3. So actually, he did get it right. It's just it took him 15 20 minutes to, to figure it out. So I actually do think he's he was right. I actually do think he was right, and he got it right. If you were West Ham, you're down 2-0, and you come back to draw 3-3, don't you think that's a that's a W change for, for Moyes, that will, how you gapped it? Yeah, but you, at the same time, I think, team, I think it's different. Yeah, it's different because Liverpool's drawing coming back against Brighton. They're not coming back against City. Like, what do you mean? Like, West Ham did that to Spurs. Really like, no, no. Like, no if Bright, West Ham did don't. that to Spurs in 20 – when we did that to you guys in, in that 3-3 all game yeah. like, during that COVID year, massive win. That felt like a win for us, Yeah. Yeah. But it, yeah, it, because of it was Spurs. If if that happens against like Burnley or something that year, we're like, oh, that was a horrible performance. We got lucky with that. Yeah, but, really like, no, not not to say Brighton aren't a good team, but li- it's it's about favorites. Liverpool are the favorites, and they should be but big. They've been crap. Nine, so it actually, no, it, it, but it doesn't matter though, like because they they still going into it are going to be the favorites because they're Liverpool and they they have the quality players. It doesn't matter what we think about it because like, but no, no, overall. But- they're going to be the favorites, so they I should, they should they have, won. have to come back against this team. But but you still you have to give credit, no matter what kind of team you are, you have to give credit for making a change, a tactical change to come back and get something from a game where you were two goals down. I don't care if you're the best team in the world, you still get credit. But do you, you know get, he made a tactical change, or did the players just play it out? I was like, all right, cool, we'll play this out and see what happens. Well, I'm I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming if you're two zero down after twenty minutes and then you the game ends three three, you made you, first of all they had to make changes. That's just part of the game. They always make changes throughout the entire game at halftime. Yeah. They go over it. They they it's just part of the game. They of course they make changes. So I, I'm I could I, you guys disagree, but I'm I'm with Klopp. I actually don't think that's an that's like that's not even an excuse. It's just him stating facts. And and I don't care if they're favorites or not. They came back. They got something from a team. That's very good from a manager. That's very good. I don't know. I'm. I, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm on the clock. I'm. I'll just leave it at that. I'm. I, I'm. I think any manager would take that. I don't think you. I don't think I've heard a manager say, "Oh, they lined up differently today, so we didn't know how to line up." It's like I've heard Mourinho say that from Fratana. He said that. I've heard David Moyes like say, "Like, oh, we don't know how they're gonna line up because we have no footage on them in the Europa Conference League." That's what I've heard from David Moyes. <laughs> Because there's no footage on the team because they play on a turf field. It's like that's the level of like stuff I'm talking about where you can say, "Oh, I don't know what to expect because we have nothing on them." That's what I expect. But Brian, you know they're not going to change a whole lot because the manager's only been in for a week, like oh, even that two weeks maximum, right? So you're going to expect similar things. So I'm just saying your job is to know what they're going to line up as or have a rough idea, and then go from there. Like, don't get me wrong, he made the changes, result. Is a draw, right? But you can't be like, oh, well, the reason why we got a draw is because I didn't, we, I didn't know how they're going to set up, so I didn't know how to set up my team. It's like, but that's your job is to set up your team for the best way to get a result from the from the, from the straight up kickoff. So it's like, just saying, it seems like a dumb excuse. Not not his worst excuse. Don't get me wrong. There's been don't a lot. Don't you think it's actually Brighton knew better how Liverpool lined up than Liverpool knew or Brighton lined up? In which case. Brighton lined up perfectly to counter Liverpool, and that actually helped them. I mean, yeah, but like, it's not. I don't think that's going to be made. Of course, I'd be mean, shout out to Brighton. I feel uh, like good for them, but like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't Liverpool. think you guys giving Brighton enough credit. They obviously no, 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 like Brighton again. Like the fact that okay, the fact that Klopp didn't know how they're going to line up. I feel like means that Brighton could be doing something good. And props to Brighton for drawing against a team like Liverpool. Right, but I, I don't think that's the argument there. I think it's just it's just Klopp's fault. I'm not saying I'm not saying Brighton did anything wrong or like you know like aren't shouldn't be praised for what they did. But Klopp should also still be criticized, to me. I think like, he should be criticized, like, but I also think he shouldn't. Not, people shouldn't forget. No, that because he, he didn't do his homework. He didn't do his homework. He like his. You gotta remember this is his sole job is to figure out. How to line up his team the best way possible against Brighton. Yeah, and people Liverpool. get it wrong. This this Liverpool team is dog water this but, season but in terms of they go, there's the there's a playing. difference in getting it wrong and not 
getting something right or wrong. Like he, he his his excuse is there wasn't anything to counter, like to 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 do against. If you're like, I knew how they lined up and I got it wrong, that's different than me. I don't know how they lined up, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, no, he didn't know how they lined up, so he went with something. It he got it wrong. He changed. He got it right. I'm. I've heard Mourinho say that before with Tottenham. I've. I guarantee you, other managers have said it before as well. I think it's a valid point. I'm not saying he shouldn't be criticized. Obviously, he should be criticized, and people criticize him plenty. But I also don't think. Okay, again, I think I said preface this with: if he said this is the reason they drew, then I don't agree with that. But if he said yes, we started badly. Um, I didn't know how they're gonna line up, so I went. You know, I went with what I had. Brighton perfectly countered it, got 2-0 up in 20 minutes, which is very quickly in 20 minutes. You, it's not like you can change tactics like that. It takes a bit. And then uh, right. they, they, they changed and they, and, they, and they got it right eventually. I don't – I personally, I think that's a fine statement if it's like that. If he's saying the reason we got to draw is because I didn't know what the hell I was doing, obviously then I'm going to agree with you guys. But from what it sounds like, he said that, you know, they got a quick goal um, and then we, 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 you know, had to change things up. I don't see anything wrong with that personally. I, 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 I think Brighton played – Played them perfectly, and then of course Liverpool eventually were able to turn around with because Pot made the changes, um, and the players, uh, whatever. I didn't watch the game, but obviously Pot made changes. It's just part of the game, and he got it right at that point. At that point, that's that's just what I'm thinking. Also, I don't know if you saw, but uh, um, um, Van Dyke had an absolute howler of a clearance attempt. Oh, Van Dyke yeah. and Trent. <laughs> fucking terrible. So, so it's not even Klopp's fault. And then those goals, that's their, that's, yeah. that's Van Dyke having, okay, routine attempt at a clearance. Easy, easy. Ball's coming in, nothing, it doesn't, no deflection, routine attempt at clearance, completely whiffs it. And then Van Dyke and, and then uh, Arnold game dropped. Uh, We've like, been over like this already in the episode. We, Trent and Van Dyke are just having a howler and <laughs> so it's I'm not going to change. That's, that's two players costing you two goals like that. I think that happens. Managers can't do anything about that. That's just how it happens sometimes. It's called you don't play them. <laughs> <laughs> it's called you it's don't fair, play though. them. That's how you avoid it. Drop both. That's crazy. If, if you dropping both at the same in the same game would be a little people. That's would what. Like, that's well, what's not dropping having, any is a thing. No, no. It's called dropping both and having a bench instead of just relying on your same starting eleven you do every season, and actually getting players instead of the big time young players. Uh, that uh, apparently are supposed to have a great impact, but uh, clearly don't. Um, yeah. Instead of dropping all the cash on them, you should dry, uh, probably drop some cash on uh, some quality center backs who uh, can actually slot in right there when the other players aren't playing. They have James Bunner on the bench. That's all I need. That's all they need. <laughs> That's all they need. And all the youngsters <laughs> they have, for sure, like Elliot. Yeah. They... Mm-hmm. Greatest under-21 player in the Premier League. Uh, that's a joke, by the way. Liverpool fans are yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna call it there. I think we've done a bit of recording here. So, uh, yeah. Well, thank you guys for if you made it this far. Thank you guys for listening or watching this far. Uh, expect another episode next week per usual with more club games happening. Champions League again this week. Uh, vital games for a lot of clubs like Chelsea. And uh, yeah, anything else you guys want to add? Uh talking about mls playoffs soon uh because the season is wrapping up in terms of uh, regular season so we're going to probably do a prediction of the playoffs and yeah so look forward uh look for that and yeah thanks for watching